the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. So like I say, we're back with another one, guys. Let's talk about OPSEC. Um, there was a FUD attack on OPSEC yesterday, uh, which saw the prices come down and quickly recover. So we will take a look at the chart. Um, OPSEC were very professional and quick to address the FUD. And I ultimately think that this is a good thing, or at least the, the fact that we finally had a dip on OPSEC, because that's given a lot of people a buying opportunity. So we will take a look at the chart. There's also some bullish news on upset that i completely missed um, we're going to talk about that as well okay guys now there was some fud yesterday from zach xbt who this is what he does right he finds um you know he he fuds projects or you know points out rugs right this is what he does uh, some would say he's like some sort of coffeezilla of crypto all right guys but coffeezilla actually reaches out to people that he makes videos out to see what their comments are on anything that he might might find a little bit suspicious or whatever. Um, uh, Zach XPT doesn't seem to do that. Okay, guys. So what he did is he put this tweet out to say that Opsec was caught LARPing about infrastructure in a deleted post where they posted this video um, some weeks ago um, about their, you know, one of their data centers. Okay, guys. And uh, Opsec were quick to address this. And they said that for, full tr uh, for the purpose of full transparency, we openly invite Zach XBT to talk to our current data center providers and work with us to help ease any misunderstanding. They then also posted um, this video, which actually shows um one of their data centers um one of the members of the team opening the door to one of their data centers uh, you can see you know their logo all over this machinery okay guys so that's an up-to-date video but what it was is uh, or apparently what it was is um they've got several data centers and um they asked for a video from one of them which sent them an old video apparently and they basically just used that and put a tweet out all right guys but if this person would have reached out. They probably would have got that explanation. and probably would have, you know, wouldn't have needed to FUD a completely legitimate project. Okay, guys. Um, not only that, but let's just point out, you know, some key things, right? OPSEC is partnered with Linear. Linear tweeted about OPSEC as well. And, um, you know, would Linear partner with... In fact, let's just... Um, let's let's go to a Kazi tweet. Okay. Um, no. No. Well, he did tweet about it, but let's let's just say, would Linear partner with a LARP? Okay, if you don't know what Linear is, Linear is directly connected to MetaMask. Okay, um, uh, yeah, MetaMask. If you open MetaMask, you will see the Linear chain in your MetaMask alongside Ethereum as a mandatory. You can't even remove it, right? And there is some alpha that I've got on that as well, which I dropped for my Patreons. Um, so I do recommend you come and join us in Patreon. Link is in the description. Okay, guys, because that's where I'm dropping alpha and early calls. Um, many of you are aware that we found OPSEC at like 5 million. And um, what well, I talked about it at 5 million, at least. And uh, where's it sitting at now? It's, it's still sitting at 168 million, even after this dip. It went to 250 million market cap guys and i still think this one's super bullish i'm going to tell you why as well apart from the obvious okay but um they're partnered with linear they've got 80 linear nodes all right guys amongst the other things that we've talked about on the channel they've got the cloud sec they've got the cloud verse um you know it's now rebranded to opset computer or their website is opset computer they're building something huge guys in deep in in ai this this one's going to be a market leader and you'll, you'll probably agree with me before the end of the video. Okay, guys. So ultimately, there was some FUD yesterday. Okay, and that saw the price come down. This huge dip. All right, guys. You can see these huge candles. All right. It's a cascading effect. Everyone was selling their OPSEC apart from, you know, the smart money. Smart money was buying this dip on the way down. Me personally, I managed to catch it at a dollar. Okay, I managed to catch it at a dollar and then ride it up for, you know, around i think i got out about a 70 percent profit just to take advantage of the dip um i managed to you know actually get some profits off of that dip i'm still holding my original bag of opsec but um you know you see a dip like that any any quality project right with a fud attack or with a you know unless it's legitimate fud right but with a fud attack or a hack you know that is like 
I mean, the whales, that's juicy to the whales, right? That's juicy, you know, because at the end of the day, that is like a gift, um, you know, to get some cheap, you know, for example, in OPSEC seek, to get some cheap OPSEC, right? Um, I believe that we've seen, um, you know, it's not the first time we've seen Zach XBT post some FUD about a legitimate project and threw it to dump. I think it happened with ATOR. Um, I think it also happened with, um, there was another coin people were saying that it happened with, okay, which is a very popular token. It might have been Pepe, I'm not sure. Or it might have been um, Shiba Inu, one of those, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, it's not the first time that he's done that. And um, ultimately, you know, these kind of things hurt projects, um, especially if they don't have a great community. Fortunately for us, OPSEC does have a great community. And many people have been hoping and praying for a dip like this on OPSEC. Okay, but as you can see, it's quickly recovered. Okay, it's done what it has done what they do. Okay, like you normally see people buy it, they might take a profit or come down, and it will just fluctuate. All right, guys, but right now it's got a strong base, and um, it looks really good from where I'm standing. And I still see this, you know, accumulating sideways, which will be bullish, and then breaking out and continuing upwards because I see this being a multi billion dollar project. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will again give you a reason why I believe that. Okay, guys. So OPSEC are looking really good from where I'm standing. Kazi posted that one of the team members of OPSEC directly works with Vitalik Buterin. That's enough reason for me to know it's a billion dollar project. So that's bullish. Okay. Um, obviously, you know, that's just going to get eyes on it. I mean, they are also sponsoring. Um, they are also sponsoring another event. Okay. So OPSEC are doing it like no other. If we can find a tweet, right? um let's just find this tweet opsec is officially sponsoring eth taipei if i'm pronouncing that correctly uh, and will be joining the event from march 21st to 24th the conference will feature a huge lineup of speakers including ethereum founder vitalik buterin if i'm pronouncing that correctly we're also excited to be hosting a hackathon uh, hackathon during the event with a prize fund of twenty thousand. stay tuned for more dlc you in taiwan Okay, guys, so more bullish news for OPSEC. And then, you know, you have to grasp this, guys. They're not just attending ETH Taipei, whatever that is. I've never heard of, of it before, okay? But um, it sounds important, right? But they, they, they are not just attending, they're sponsoring it. Okay, guys, so many people are going to hear about OPSEC. And, um, you know, this is great marketing for OPSEC. Again, a future blue chip project. In my opinion, not financial advice. Do your own research. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. Okay, guys. But if you haven't seen my previous videos on OPSEC, I do recommend you go and check those out because I've covered some other very bullish things on OPSEC. But today, we're going to talk about something that I, it completely, I, I mean, I don't know how I missed it, but it's very bullish. Okay, guys. We're not even talking about staking right now, which they are. They're talking about staking, right? A staking model. Remember, there's revenue share with OPSEC. Okay, guys. But let's just go to the website because what we're going to talk about today, which I find completely bullish for OPSEC, and something that I didn't actually realize that OPSEC was doing, is that OPSEC is building a layer one blockchain. Okay, guys, and obviously, a layer one blockchains, you know, I mean, it speaks for itself. All right, guys, just look at Solana. Just look at you know ethereum just look at you know any layer one blockchain cardano all right guys they go into the multiples of billions the tens of billions of market cap so i believe that opsec you know a layer one blockchain for opsec right and not only that right so you've heard of proof of work you've heard of proof of stake all right opsec is proof of cloud or that's what they're building a proof of cloud mechanism poc this isn't going to be an AI blockchain. Deepin, what's he say here? OPSEC's layer one blockchain combines, uh, combines the powers of AI and modular architecture to enhance scalability, security, and flexibility while streamlining network operations and reducing development overhead. I mean, if that's not bullish and you don't see this going into the billions of dollars worth of market cap, all right? I mean, Kazi, if we go back to his tweet, you know, I came off the tweet, right? 
But he believes it's going to the billions just because someone's connected to Vitalik or works directly with Vitalik, right? If OPSEC builds a super bullish layer one blockchain, which is fast, right? Which, you know, supports deep in projects, AI projects. What's this OPSEC modular architecture framework, data availability? I don't know what all of these, these things are, right? Because, you know, I'm not that smart. Okay, guys, but, you know, this could be a very bullish project, guys, a very bullish project. And, you know, just the price action up until now, right? Even after the FUD is just a staple and a statement of the bullishness and the quality of this project, in my opinion. Okay, guys. So this to me, I like to zoom out of these charts. We ain't seen nothing yet for the price of OPSEC. It's not financial advice. Okay, guys. But ultimately, it's had a dip. And I think that having that dip is very good for the chart longer term or even in the short term. Okay, guys. Because many people wouldn't have bought it just for the simple fact that it hadn't had a pullback. Now it's had a pullback. It's showing its strength. It's showing that it can hold up against the FUD. It can hold up against the selling, okay? And it can, you know, the team kept their composure. The team were very prompt in their responses. They were professional, um, you know, and there's so much more that I haven't spoken about in this video, right? But OPSEC are, uh, I would say they're my favorite, my favorite deep in um, project, okay? AI deep in, cloud computing, whatever. Okay, guys, and for them to become a layer one blockchain, this is like, you know, buying in at Matic, right? Something like Matic. Yes, it does something completely different, right? A Matic yeah, is a layer, layer two or whatever, right? Polygon, right? But this is like buying something like Matic. I, was, I remember when Matic was under a penny, right? Imagine buying Matic at 169 million in market cap or at 5 million market cap where we got it, right? What's the... What's the market cap of Matic today? Let's go to Coin Market Cap very quickly. Okay, Polygon, right? What's the market cap of Polygon Matic today? Eleven billion. Eleven billion, guys. Okay, and that's not with the the bull run hasn't even really kicked off fully yet, right? We've just started the bull run, in my opinion, right? We've just started, and Matic has hardly moved. It's still, you know. As you can see, I mean, it's up a little bit, right? But, you know, at the peak, Matic at the peak of the, the, the previous run was sitting at 19 billion. Okay, guys, just imagine OPSEC hitting 19 billion or 11 billion from here from 169 million market cap. That's all I've got for you in this video, guys. Super bullish on OPSEC. If you're not subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and subscribe. Link to the Patreon is in the description. Come and join us over there. That's where I'm dropping a new alpha. Okay, guys, so you can get into things like OPSEC before they get to video, before they go to hundreds of millions and even billions of market cap. Um, like the video, which helps with the YouTube algorithm. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next one.